Hello dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and a blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. If you have been blessed with the opportunity to see this video today, I ask that you subscribe to my channel to join the Happy Christian Family. And also please share with friends and family so that they may also receive the message of the Lord. In today's video is a warning message from one of our lovely subscriber. I'm going to read it the same way it was delivered to us. No part has been taken out and nothing has been added to the story. Please watch this video to the end as I proceed. Good morning you all. My name is Benita. When I was 21 years old, I experienced the rapture. The enormity and splendor of what I saw is beyond words. It was an awesome event. If this didn't align with the scripture, I would never share it, but it does. And the amazing thing is, this happened before I was saved, before I ever owned the Bible, and before I knew about salvation. This confirms to me that it was from the Lord. I don't know why he showed me this, but it happened when I was a young woman living in New York City. Even though I am writing this, I know that nothing replaces God's word. I share this now because I was asked to do so again. I believe the rapture is very near. Everything I experienced is in the scripture. I share this because Bible prophecy about Christ's return is being fulfilled quickly. Jesus said, when we see these things happening, we should look up because our redemption is near. The Bible says that believers in Jesus Christ will be taken from this earth to meet him in the air before God's judgment on the world. I share this soberly and seriously. This experience was given to me for a reason. And because it was so profound and scriptural, at a time when I knew nothing about Jesus, God, the Bible, salvation, the rapture, or the great tribulation. I believe God wants me to share it. Here's what happened to me at 21. Suddenly, in my sleep, I heard a huge bang like a thunderclap that startled me awake. Then I heard a trumpet sound, like a metal trumpet announcing a great event. I saw masses of people running in one direction, as if escaping something catastrophic. I didn't see what they were running from, but it felt like a huge disaster. I wasn't running with them, but I was among them looking up. Despite being in the middle of the running masses, I wasn't trampled or affected by them. Then I looked up at the sky, but there was no sky. Instead, Jesus Christ, the King, the Messiah, replaced the entire sky. I saw his face from below his chest up to his head. He filled the entire sky. Jesus wore a deep red robe. He was incredibly beautiful. His hair was jet black, straight and shiny, as was his beard. His skin was olive, his eyes were almond-shaped and fiery black, and his features were perfect. He had a blood-red rope draped across him. In his mouth was a carved beautiful sword with a handle decorated with emeralds, rubies, and sapphires. Although the sword was in his mouth, it didn't cover his mouth. I felt myself lifting up towards him, and I saw another person also rising. I said, I am being saved. Then it was over. I sat up amazed, and woke up my roommate, 
telling her I saw the end of the world and a powerful Middle Eastern king filling the sky. She dismissed it as a dream. I couldn't stop talking about it, but she thought I needed a psychiatrist. About seven years later, I became saved. Although I initially couldn't even buy a Bible, I later asked for one as a Christmas gift. When I read the Bible, especially the New Testament and the Book of Revelation, my hair stood on end. The Bible described Jesus' return as lightning from the east to the west, accompanied by the shout of an archangel. I realized that the loud sound I heard was this shout. And Jesus filling the entire sky confirmed what I saw. Revelation describes him with a double-edged sword in his mouth and wearing a robe dipped in red. This much what I saw. Dear beloved, television cameras won't capture this. Jesus filled the entire sky for me, and I believe that's how he will appear to everyone. Revelation 1 verse 7 says, Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. Are you ready to see him? Will you be glad at his coming, or will you mourn and seek to hide? Revelation 6 also describes a great earthquake, the sun turning black, the moon becoming blood red, stars falling, and the sky rolling up like a scroll. Every mountain and island will be moved, and people will hide in caves, calling for the mountains and rocks to fall on them to hide from the face of the one on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who can withstand it? So thank you for watching this video to the end. Please help us get this message out to the rest of the world by sharing to all your friends and family members. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so right away so that you can receive other videos on God's Word in the days and weeks ahead. I'm grateful to you and may God continue to bless you till our next meeting.